However, I doubt if any of them has been better known than my desk mate for the last 30 years. A member of the 48th Highlanders who traditionally start off each new season, and incidentally who worked with Foster Hewitt in the earliest days of Maple Leaf Gardens and the hockey broadcast. He's a very proud Canadian and a Torontonian who was born just down the street from where he'll now face off the puck. Ladies and gentlemen, without his news and comment tonight, Gordon Sinclair. Well, of course, uh, Jack Dennett has borrowed Paul Morris's microphone for this occasion, and uh, he introduced Gordon Sinclair, a famous broadcaster, reporter, and look at the outfit Gordon Sinclair has on, as you might expect, Bill Hewitt. Yes, sir, he's... That's quite a kilt. And listen to that ovation. Ladies and gentlemen, Simon Nolay, captain of Kansas City, and Dave Keon, captain of the Toronto Maple Leafs, will participate in the opening face-off. Mr. Gordon Sinclair will drop the puck, and the 1974-75 season is declared officially open. The crowd responds again to a very popular man, a great Canadian, Gordon Sinclair, accompanied by Mr. Harold Ballard, as he dropped the puck that will officially get the new season underway. The respective captains, Dave Keon and Simon Nolay of the Kansas City Scouts. Well, Gordon Sinclair, it's obvious from the attention you're getting, you have more fans here tonight than most of the players. Well, I was born right on this street, right on Carlton Street where the rink is. Well, that's important. Was that one reason you were asked to be here tonight and they honored you? Yes, I think so. They've had a lot of big shots in politics and governments and things like that. But I'm one of the guys from down the street. I was born uh, about a mile and a quarter from here. It's a delight to have you here. And I understand uh, you were once a part of the broadcast team at the Gardens. Yeah, for one season, the uh, season of 35, 36, I think it was, uh, Foster Hewitt uh, did the play-by-play -play and I did all the intermissions myself. And that was the year of the famous uh, flop out by George Raft. He, oh, and uh, he had couldn't get up in the rafters. That's right, he froze. <laughs> the and tough guy. Yeah, yeah. Didn't you go into the crowd at times and interview the players' wives and things like that? Yeah, I used to come down here and uh, interview the players' wives, and uh, some of them were quite, quite salty, quite good. I uh, certainly remember Mrs. Reg Horner, Red Horner's wife. She was a very spirited, well-spoken lady. Now, they gave you the puck tonight after the official face-off. What will you do with that? I'll give that to one of my several grandchildren, and uh, they're all real hockey nuts, and so they'll uh, fight over I was going to say, there'll be a scrap yet. over That's that. That's right. Uh -huh. Did you ever play the game, Gordon? Well, I did play at the church league, but I was uh, too light. I was too small. I got nowhere, but I was a referee, uh, Brian, when we had a bell. Can you remember when they had a bell instead of a whistle? I've read about it, yes, but I just can't picture you as a referee. Well, I was a referee in the church league. The church league has long since uh, been abandoned, but it was all outdoor hockey, and uh, the referee didn't get paid, and nobody got paid, but it was uh, good fun. Well, that's important to you. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, of course. As a reporter and broadcaster, what captures your attention at a game like this tonight? Well, being an opening night and a new uh, team in the league, I look for the boys that I think will make it. And I think there's several out here. As a matter of fact, I've been astonished at the speed of the play. It has delighted me. I think they're faster than I had ever thought. And therefore, I think it must be the results of the uh, schools. Now, what do you think about that? Well, I agree. With, I think that the schools have helped immeasurably, and I think that just Canadian youth are great, and they just want to play this game. They want to excel at it, and I'm delighted that they do. Yeah, they're very good. They're very fast players. Pleased to see you here, Gordon. Come again and see us. Thank you, Brian. Come up and see us in the gondola again. <laughs> yes, I could get up there. <laughs> Coming up, a look at the Kansas City Scouts. We'll return with Hockey Night in Canada in just a moment. 